My name is Joe Schwartzbauer. I run the Great Egg Properties team here in the Twin Cities. Stick around to the end of this. We've got some really analytical data to take a look at too regarding new construction. If you're thinking about moving into new construction, what's taking place, what has happened. It's some good information. Make sure to like, subscribe, all of that, but let's get into it right away. Let's start with progressive builders. Lower 25, we've got Progressive Builder, Sharper Homes, SW Wold, Country Joe, Price Custom Homes, and Distinctive Design Build. Progressive Builders, these guys are more of an affordable home builder. Uh, they do have some homes that are currently for sale. These guys are really just more of an affordable home builder. Uh, they're making a name for themselves though. They weren't previously on the list, so interesting to take a look at these guys. Um, I'm sorry, they, they were previously on the list. They were actually ranked number 16 previously so they've fallen off they're not building quite as many homes but great builder out there sharper homes they're great sw wold i have never worked with them country joe homes now this is a company that i actually really like uh, they always have homes in the parade of homes which is currently taking place right now make sure to go check out the parade of homes there's all these beautiful new construction homes you can go walk through 15 20 of them a day check out the 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 dream homes as well you have to pay five bucks to get into them but they are well worth it even if you're not into new construction it's fun to go walk through these amazing amazing new construction homes but country joe they actually have some quick move in properties that are going to be ready they're primarily south of the city so you're going to see them a lot in the lakeville area um, they do and have done some other stuff i believe in cottage grove um, and a few other communities south of the cities but country joe is a great one look into them if you want any more information about them feel free to reach out we're happy to go into that uh, one of the next ones that we're going to take a look at here is Price Custom Homes. Uh, these guys have gotten pretty popular here in the Twin Cities. They are, as you can see, a northern builder, so they're basically in the northern suburbs. Uh, they make a nice product. I've never sold one of their homes, but I have walked through quite a few of them. Uh, the next one, actually, let's go back to the list and just kind of scroll up here. So number 19 through 14, we're looking at Derek Custom Homes, Coutin Cou Kenya, 11010, David Weekly Homes, Keyland Homes, JP Brooks Builders. Uh, the one that I want to look at though is Kutinia. I really like these guys. They're actually uh, partnered with Michael Lee a little while back, but look at how beautiful that kitchen is. These guys do some really, really nice work. They typically have a dream home in the Parade of Homes. I would check out some of their construction. It's very innovative. They started doing, they were one of the first ones that I saw doing the pantry behind the kitchen that's a little bit hidden. Really love that, love the way it looks, love the way it functions. As you can see, they are in the Parade of Homes. Go check them out. They are really, really a great builder. But one of my favorites is Charles Cudd. Charles Cudd builds luxury. So you're not gonna see any lower level homes from them. They are a, a custom home builder. They are architecturally forward. These guys build some astounding residences. If you own a Charles Cudd home, kudos to you, you've made it. They, they put together something really, really nice. Uh, well, next one we wanna look at is Brandel Anderson. Brandel Anderson is very much a mid-level builder, uh, but they don't build too many homes. So I do like the numbers as far as where they're at. Oh, we actually skipped right up here. So let's look at 13 through eight. Uh, we did Charles Cudd, Brandel Anderson. They do 127 homes in the past 12 months. So 127 homes is you're not looking at one of these huge, huge national builders that's just putting all these homes up. There is some care and some love into the construction that they are doing. I like Brandel Anderson, definitely one that I would check out. Next up on the list, uh, let's go to Gagne. Gagne Homes, they are also a very very custom builder. Anything you want, they can do. They build beautiful, beautiful 
exquisite as you can see on their site home sites uh, they typically will also have some stuff here in the parade of homes a lot of times one of theirs is going to be one of the dream homes as well i should probably shoot a whole video on the parade of homes and the dream homes we're actually going to go out i believe this weekend and go take a look at some of them maybe i'll see you out there if you see me say hello uh, Gagne though, I love their construction and what Gagne has that I really, really like is they have a subsidiary company called Stonegate Builders and Stonegate Builders is their more moderately priced homes. Now these are not a custom home, you have to pick one of their floor plans, but they are they are essentially Gagne. So you're getting the quality of construction that Gagne puts out there, but at a price point that's much more affordable. So Stonegate is one that if you are looking for high quality, but more mid-level pricing, I would truly recommend reaching out to them. Uh, next on the list that we want to take a look at is Creative Homes. These guys build primarily in the eastern suburbs, a lot of Lake Elmo, Wiper Lake, up into Hugo, uh, some Stillwater, some Woodbury, but they also make a very nice product. They go from all different ranges. They are in the range of doing million dollar homes, two million dollar homes, but they also build that more entry level at about 500,000 and it's a very quality product. Uh, they do have some that are are going to be ready here very very soon but yeah you can see some of these at 1.6 1.8 million 1.9 oh yeah we're getting up into oh no those are monthly payments <laughs> Uh, so these are more of the $500,000 type range homes, but they are a custom home builder as well. So they can do some much nicer stuff. I mean, where can you find new construction for 369,000? These are over in New Richmond. That's where you find them. All right, let's go back to the list here. We did Gagne, we did Creative. All right, now, now we're looking at Robert Thomas, Hanson, Capstone, these are the ones I want to focus on right now. Robert Thomas is, again, a custom home builder. They are really phenomenal. They've got a really great name in this industry locally here. I like working with them. They've got a good process. Reach out about Tom, Robert Thomas Homes. I really like these guys. Uh, who are we looking at next? Hanson. Hanson is one of my favorite home builders here in the Twin Cities. They primarily do northern suburbs, Plymouth, Dayton, Maple Grove, those types of areas, Rogers, but they also do quite a bit over in Woodbury. Woodbury's been a big home home base for them. They do quite a few homes over there. Sold one of them last year. I really, really love their process, their design process. Buyers really enjoy it. The home buying process with new construction can be really stressful. Having to pick out literally everything in your home, there's a lot of choices to be made and Hanson does a great job of keeping it simple. They're a local builder. I know one of the owners, Luke, he is a great guy. Love working with him. Love Hanson Homes. If you ever want to tour one, let me know because I always love walking through them. All right, so back to the list here. Who else are we going to look at? So, Capstone, they're a phenomenal builder, again, in the northern suburbs. You know, build 366 homes, not a ton. Now we're getting up into these bigger national builders. Pulte Homes, DR Horton, MI Homes, which MI I actually really like. Uh, they are a national builder, but they're not completely nationwide. They're basically just on, uh, if we were to split the country up into two, they're on the eastern portion of that. They do a lot of stuff down in Florida. I've actually walked through some of their stuff down in Florida when me and my wife were down there last time, and they put out a nice product. Um, but the biggest one, the winner, the, the number one home builder in the Twin Cities is Lennar. Now, I gotta be honest, I have not always been a big fan of Lennar. They build a lot of homes per year. As you can see, 1,600 homes were built here in the Twin Cities in the previous 12 months. That's a lot of homes to put up. Now, when you're building that many homes, I often feel that quality is going to lack a little bit, but I've been through a few of their recent models and I'm actually going to visit one of their new row homes in St. Paul at the Highland Bridge development on Friday. This is going to be a really phenomenal house and I'm really exciting to see, excited to see what they can do for over a million dollars in a townhouse. It is four bedroom, five bath. I'm expecting something pretty great out of it, but maybe next time I'm gonna give you guys my info on that. <clears throat> but Lennar, they take the number one spot. All right, 
Next, let's get into some data. Let's let's look at what's going on really in the new construction uh, sector of real estate here. So as of last month, the median price for a new construction home in the seven county metro is up to five hundred and eighty six thousand dollars. The price per square foot is now up to two hundred and thirty one dollars. This has gone up. Man, can you imagine buying a new construction home even in, you know, 2019, one hundred and seventy one dollars all the way up to two thirty one? Cost of new construction is going up and it's going up quickly. It's labor shortages, it's supply chain issues, it's all of that. But I want to talk about this right here, and this is one of the biggest things that is affecting our housing market currently. You can see right here in March, 365 pending home sales for new construction, and boom, this thing just dropped like a rock all the way down to 159 in July. What happened? Well, interest rates are what happened. Interest rates went way up and with the cost of new construction going up so quickly, all of these things combined made it a perfect or a terrible storm for home builders where people just did not want to move forward on new construction. Well, over the past few years, new construction builders haven't really liked real estate agents because they felt like they didn't need them. Now, all of a sudden, our commissions are going up incentives are coming back there's now big incentives if you are a home buyer and want to purchase new construction you're possibly going to get that free basement finished you're possibly going to get all of your closing costs covered we now have the opportunity to negotiate again but so interest rates went way way up and all of a sudden went down to the bottom 159 we haven't seen those numbers in a very long time let's actually just go back and look what is our uh, 10 year last time we were down that low it looks like it was in 2015 so numbers are just not looking good for new construction right now we can get a deal out there on new construction but how does this affect everything else well it's interesting when rates went up Pretty much every single home builder went, whoa, and pulled back. They are no longer building as many homes. They are waiting for you to come along to say, yes, I want to build. There's not as many as these quick move in homes available as there previously were. So home builders are slowing down. Now in the grand scheme of things, we're down about 6 million homes on new construction here over the past decade. We are in essentially a housing crisis. If home builders are not building more homes, that means home buyers that would be typically interested in buying new construction, but they can't move in quickly, are gonna be forced to buy a previously built home, which is gonna compress our market even further, causing prices to continue to rise. No, we're not gonna see these meteoric rises that we have seen over the past few years, home prices are starting to uh, rise slower. We're not seeing depreciation, we're just seeing slower growth. In the Twin Cities here, we're probably still gonna see about 9% appreciation over the year. Next year, probably gonna be more like 6%, but we are not gonna have home prices start falling. That's just not something that is going to take place. The simple supply and demand won't allow it. If you've liked this content, make sure to give us a subscribe. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I really appreciate you. If you want more information on any of these new construction homes, myself or anybody on the team is happy to give it to you. Thanks so much. Subscribe. We'll see you next time.